I-4 us this morning. He's near I-44 in Harvard. Tony, you've lived in Tulsa a long time. How does this winter storm compare to what we've seen? Ooh, that's a good one, Corey. Um, okay. I, you know, I, I would say that we're, we're right, right there in the middle. I, I got, I technically moved to Tulsa in 2013, started in March of 2011 in Northwest Arkansas. And I know everyone talks about 2011 as a huge snowstorm here for the Tulsa area. And, you know, since I didn't live through it, I guess this doesn't compare. It, uh, and so please tweet me, text me, Instagram me. Let me know what you think because uh, I'm Tony Russell TV on all the socials. Um, let me know because I think this one is, I mean, I'm just being really honest with you. We're in the middle. But here's the thing, Corey. A lot of these snow drifts that are happening as a result of cars going through and plows not being able to get through, you know, to, when I say get through, like go ahead and clear the roads, the consequences is are that if you got a small, low profile car, you're just going to get stuck in this stuff and you're not going to be able to discern the difference between a concrete center island center median or uh, a curb or the regular street or just what looks like a snow track. And that's what I saw on my way here, Corey. Down on Riverside, I at least saw two cars that are just kind of like, you know, in the four wheel drive industry, you call them high centered. They're just kind of stuck. They're kind of like a beached whale, but it's a beached whale in Tulsa and it's a car in the middle of a winter weather event. So if you got a small car, don't even think about it. And I can't say this enough. I know you just had someone on earlier talking about plow crews, letting them work. These are emergency vehicles. This morning, this is why we're rushing to get on TV. I got stuck behind a plow crew. Was I trying to pass them? Absolutely not. Is that dangerous? Absolutely. Well, you know what's even more dangerous is causing an accident and putting those plow crews at risk. Kind of selfish too, because they kind of have to clear the road. So firefighters, ambulance drivers, police can get to you if you're needing help. So help out your community, help out your neighbors, let the plows work. Corey. You're absolutely right, Tony. You have to let those emergency crews do their jobs. Thank you for that report.